that part of you which exists as shakti i am rekindling it awakening it so it takes over your body part and mind part i am interested in rekindling the shakti component of you conscious component of you integrity is one of the most powerful cognition only powerful people can be integrated not otherwise a simple chemical imbalance tiredness uh, will break your integrity integrity or authenticity responsibility are enriching all these are powerful cognitions only an highly powerful being can manifest it making you manifest powers and powerful cognitions is the purpose of shakti pada inner awakening and shakti pada participants enjoy the mandala process with swami ji while sitting in the cosmic geometry swami ji himself tuned all of their consciousness to the third eye mandala process the whole group sat together to manifest shaktis expressing the superpowers that can only come in that space of shakti pada advaita oneness with sadashiva himself smaran karo unhe subharsha bhajlo I will do 10 years I will practice yoga but I will not do perfectly yoga I will try then Swami ji one day I don't know English but I will talk English uh, Swami ji one day satsang will Swami ji say um, you want kailasa I will take up your hand you do early morning practice panchakriya yoga puja daily practice you do you i will take up kailasa swami ji say that I, i will remember then i will do daily 10 days i will do practice yoga early morning i will put nitya on the tv live i will do yoga then i will i have incompletions more incompletions that more incompletions will drop 10 days i will do yoga then you will see who oh, mallakamba i will not do i will age it i will feel then 10 days i will heavy yoga i will i have confident i drop incompletions i will just come swami ji just before two days swami ji's announcement the shiva stamba the ujjayini kumbha mela and uh, vishesha diksha participant will come attend free program that uh, bidhi adinam announcement i will just see the whatsapp i will come i have powerful cognition i will do anything swami ji whatever you say i will do i have powerful cognition but you see i don't know english but i will talk english <laughs> okay thank you nityanandam guru purnima is a celebration of guru bhakti which is the pure devotion that flows from a heart filled with gratitude for the guru From now until the sacred night of Guru Purnima on 9th July we at Nityananda Times are offering you the chance to share your Guru Bhakti moments
Make a YouTube video about the sweetest experience you've had with Swamiji and send us the link. You may just see yourself in an upcoming broadcast. I would have to say my coolest moment with Swamiji was the day we got, I got married to my husband, Jinda, like we, we had just finished the legal ceremony and we had just gotten back to our house and actually Swamiji started messaging both of us on Facebook right, right as we had gotten back and he started saying like blessings on your wedding, like blessings for a happy marriage and then he said like both of you get on one chat. <laughs> so we were like okay Swamiji, like we'll get on one chat. So we both got on my phone and basically he, we start seeing this pop-up incoming video call from Swamiji and I'm like this is not real life right now. We're getting a FaceTime from a living and enlightened av avatar. And it just rings and his face pops up and we answer and we're just like, I'm just cracking up. So like a fan girl like just dying. And Trud and I are both just laughing. We're like, hi, sorry, G. He's like, Nithyananda, like blessings, blessings on your wedding day. And he's just like lying in his bed, sitting down all casually calling us. Like he's just like our dad congratulating us. And it was the most happy, like, coolest moment ever and he was just like blessings for happy marriage like and then he told us he actually told us like I'll do a Vedic wedding for you and we were just like thank you so much mommy and you like can't wait and then he was like see you soon Nithyana. this is right before we were coming we were just like okay see you soon just having a conversation like that with Swamiji literally the incarnation of Sadashiva so casually was just the craziest moment of my life it was so incredible Bhavata Janata Suhita Bhavita Nijabodha Vicharana Charumate कलयेश्वर जीव विवेक विदम भवशंकर देशिक मेशरणम भवशंकर देशिक मेशरणम सेव्यमान पावनां ग्रिपंकजम् व्यालयन्य सूत्रमिंदु शेखरम् कृपाकरम् नाररादियोगी ब्रुंद बंदितम् दिगंबरम् काशिका पुराधिनाध काल भैरवं भजे काशिका पुराधिनाध काल भैरवं भजे Asvaram bhavabhitarakam param Mela kandham ipsitarthadayakam Trilochanam Kala kala mambujakshama akshashuram aksharam Kashika puradhinatha kala bhairavam bhaje Kashika puradhinatha kala bhairavam bhaje Upcoming programs and events. The next Inner Awakening batch begins July 25th and ends August 16th at Nityananda Pitam, Bengaluru Adinam. Introducing Shakti Pada, 
a free Manifestation of Shakti's program offered exclusively for Inner Awakening graduates from 1st to 9th July. Kalpataru Yoga, a one-day workshop for manifesting your ultimate reality, will happen on the 8th of July at Nityananda Pitam, Bengaluru Adinam. This special day also includes a groundbreaking event. 1,008 initiated members of Nityananda Sangha will give a demonstration of powers, breaking the record we set earlier on World Yoga Day. On the 9th of July, we have the grand celebrations for Guru Purnima in Nityananda Pitam, Bengaluru Adinam. All new Adinavasis are welcome to join the Sadashivatwa Adinavasi Orientation Program starting on the 10th of July. Paradox of Freedom, a two-day workshop, happens 15th and 16th July in all Nityananda Adinams, temples and centers around the world. For more details, we warmly welcome you at nityananda.org. You can watch all the episodes of Nityananda Times on the Nityananda Sangha YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and join us again tomorrow in our journey of living enlightenment. Nityananda.